Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be covering facial shape enhancement and expression adjustment. Um, so you can see I already have a model loaded up here. What we're going to do is we're going to apply um, some highlights and contours to this model's face to really emphasize the uh, and flatter certain, uh, certain um, areas of the face. We want to bring out the cheekbones and add some more dimension to her, uh, to her, to her look. And uh, we're also going to actually physically reshape her face as well um, later on. Um, I've already fit this model though, so let's go directly into the makeover section. In the makeover section, let's zoom in a little bit on her face here. And you can see she has a fairly flat face, um, it's fairly wide as well. What we want to do is we want to first apply some highlights and contours to this model's face. So in the uh, facial makeup section, we'll go to highlights and contours. And you can see here that um, there's a number of different templates as well. What I want to choose is a shape correction template first. And um, because this model has a fairly rounded face, and it's fairly wide as well. We want to choose wide face female. And you'll see when I double click that, the effect that it has right away. It adds some nice contours onto the outer edges of her face, really um, creates the illusion of a thinner face. We can increase or decrease the uh, individual layer level um, for each of these. If I open up our masking tools, you can see exactly where the contour layer, layer is being applied, as well as the uh, highlight layer. And um, I can actually increase the strength of this. If I increase that up to 100, you can see it's a very pronounced effect almost to the point of looking artificial. So we'll just uh, bring that down a little bit more, maybe something about, something a bit more moderate to like 60 or 63. All right, that's a better look. And um, so that's about all we're gonna do for highlights and contours. You can go wild with that on your own time. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you an example. And we'll go into uh, blush next, because we want to emphasize the uh, cheekbones now. So I'll just apply a quick blush template here, something like an arc shape in, in coral red. And you can see that adds a little bit more dimension to our cheekbones really uh, brings those out and uh, complements the overall look of her face. All right, um, so let's uh, go back and maybe we can apply a quick uh, skin foundation as well, just for good measure. Uh, we'll go female skin, smooth soft, just to smooth out some of those blemishes on her face there. Add a little bit more uh, clarity to her face as well. All right, so that's about all we're gonna do in the uh, makeover section there. Um, let's go right, right now directly to the uh, reshape section. So in the reshape section, um, there's two different uh, areas. There's facial features and muscles. Now facial features, um, the, there's two main sliders. Um, you can adjust the proportion or the width of the face. So for example, if I bring down the proportion, what that'll do is that'll thin out her, uh, her chin. You can see the effect that that has there. And I can also maybe decrease the width slightly. I just wanna give her a more angular and, and feminine chin. Um, so that's basically all we'll do for the uh, facial, uh, facial shape. Um, you can go to the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and you can adjust those. For example, if I wanted to uh, make the eyes a little bit wider, I can scale those on the y-axis here, something a bit larger. We don't want anything too extreme. Um, something about 23 will do. Just bring out the eyes a little bit, uh, draw a little bit more attention to the eyes. And uh, in the muscle section here, we'll move on to that now. The muscle section, um, this isn't mainly used for expression adjustment. Um, so what I can do, for example, is I can select her lip muscles. I can like raise the raise the mouth edges here. You can see that gives her a bit more of a pleasant uh, pleasant look on her face, as opposed to the grumpy uh, the grumpy model on the left. Um, we can complement that further by uh, selecting the cheek muscles and also raising the cheeks as well. You can see that that um, really um, complements the uh, the whole overall appearance of the smile. Maybe raise her eyebrows as well slightly, just to give uh, a bit more space for her uh, for her eyes. And really bring those out further. All right, so um, you can create a number of different effects using the uh, using the reshape uh, features, um, number of different expressions. I'm just going to do the simple one for now, and you can see that's the effect that we uh, created. So we changed her from a grumpy, more flat-faced uh, model to a more um, a more flattering look, and uh, uh, more feminine and uh, and clear. Let's change the view here and you can get a better overall view. Close down the uh, content manager there. You can see if I uh, use our slider view here, the uh, changes that I've made. So I've really lifted up the face quite significantly. Nothing too extreme as you can see, but just really adjusted the proportion. You don't want to adjust it to the point where it looks like a completely different person. So uh, this will be a, a good result. All right, so I'll show you one more um, one more example of uh, facial reshaping. 
Now in this example, we're going to do the opposite thing. We're going to take a uh, model and we're going to um, make him more manly as opposed to more feminine. So I, I've already uh, fit this model here as well. So I'm just going to open up this project. And you can see this is the model we have here. We'll go into a uh, side-by-side -side view before and after. And we'll go directly into makeover. We're going to apply some quick uh, templates to this model here. I'm going to show you some of our dramatic templates. Um, so in the highlights and contours section, press F7 again to bring up our templates. And um, what I'm going to do is go into highlight and contour. And I'm going to go to dramatic. And if I zoom in closer on his face here, I'll just uh, bring this slider over a little bit. You can see that uh, if I apply this uh, muscular template, for example, you'll see a quite a pronounced effect there. Um, it may not be particularly fitted to this particular model's face, um, but what you want to do is you can actually adjust the uh, highlights and contours um, by yourself. So you can see the, the contours uh, layer looks like a, like, like a devil. Um, there's some fairly heavy contouring going on there. And of course, we can uh, apply those in different areas of the face as well. All right, so that's, uh, that's the um, muscular template. We're going to apply something like a Superman template to this guy. And we'll see what that effect that has. You can see it really emphasizes the cheekbones, gives him, gives him a stronger jaw, and really emphasizes the uh, stronger features in his face. Um, so if I open up the masking tools, you can see that the uh, contours are a little bit, a uh, little bit clear, but they're they're darker around the areas where they need to be. And so that's kind of the look we're going for for this particular model. And we'll just close down the masking tools now, and um, let's go into the facial reshape. I'll just do a couple of quick uh, facial reshapes here. Maybe we can increase the proportion in this case. We can give him a broader chin. It depends on how extreme you want to go. If you want him to look like a linebacker, you can go even further. Uh, we'll just do something like 16 will do. Um, and also, um, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, for this model, we can maybe give him a bit more of a confident smile. We'll go to the muscle section and maybe raise his mouth edges a little bit. Just a nice, slight, confident smile there. And maybe we can even raise the uh, eyebrows as well. Just to open up those eyes a little bit. The amount, of course, is totally up to you. And maybe even uh, facial features, we can even scale the eyes up a little bit as well. Just slightly. Alright, so there you can see in a couple of minutes there, I've really um, adjusted this model's face quite significantly. Um, just added a, a bit more of a manly look, um, some, hot, some manly contours on his face. Um, let's close down our content manager here and uh, take a look at the uh, slider view. Let's give you a better example. So you can see when I slide by that he has a lot more of a defined jaw. Um, the contours on his face are a lot darker and more well defined as well. And he has a nice confident grin on his face. So that's just some slight retouching. Um, just to give you an example of a, a couple of the uh, couple of the uh, things you can do with uh, face fit, uh, with face filter three. Um, so that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at developer at or check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel.